Hi and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am gonna paint a big painting, watercolor painting. I have already sketched some magnolias here in there and a little bird and I'm gonna paint it today. It's a commissioned artwork but I thought of making a video on it so let's get started. So it's an A3 size paper so it doesn't fit well into the frame like if I put it like this yeah, we get a better idea of how it looks. Yeah. Let's get started, getting some paints ready and some brushes. Well, I think I usually use the round brushes for painting the flowers. And the artist grade watercolors from Camlin that I always use. Basically, I like these colors so much that I never tried any other brand for the watercolors. I'm obsessed with these. These are really good. Getting some water ready and I think I should clean the palette first. I mean, look how dirty it looks. I could have used these colors if I would have had to paint something red or orange but I need to make a pink color for the magnolia so I need to clean this portion so I'm wetting the paint with some water and taking my paper towel I'm gonna clean it off okay so yeah this is how I clean my <laughs> mixing trays and palettes so for the pink color, I think I'll take some crimson over here. Yeah, but crimson is gonna be too dark for the magnolia. Like for some portions of the petals, I think this is gonna be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna wet it with water as always with the clear water, and then paint the first layer over it. Okay. petals these are wet since these are the outermost petals so these are gonna be a bit dark as compared to the rest of the flower okay let's take some paint very little paint and let's make the first layer you know um you should always take a little amount of paint onto your brush you know as though that you could create a light kind of transparent first layer because um, that way if you later on feel like you need to um, get it a bit more dark then it's easier to do it but if you just make the first layer very dark and then you realize that you shouldn't have them this dark then um, you don't have many options even in the watercolors to lift off the pigment completely so always start off by making a light layer by using very very less pigment So the flower is done and now I'm gonna add some very fine details in the petals, very fine lines, okay? So let me show you how. For the pencil sketch over here, so it's, you know, um, not to rub my hand over it, I'm gonna put a paper over it. So we'll take a very little quantity of the pigment onto our brush, you know, very, very light, and just clean it on the paper towel and let's make some very, very light brush strokes, okay? Look, these are so light that I don't think you would be able to see them in the video, but they sure are gonna, you know, have some effect on it. Okay, I just realized that like, <laughs> when I was making these brush strokes, I don't know why I was clenching my teeth. Maybe because I was paying a lot of concentration this okay let me show you how it looks you know, there are some very fine lines set okay so we're kind of going to do the same to the other petals as well show you a closer look can you see it yeah 
So I'm gonna paint all the other magnolias in the same way. So we we'll just do a time lapse video, <laughs> time lapse video from now on, except for this one bloomed flower because all the other flowers aren't that bloomed. So we're gonna paint them in a similar manner as we paint this magnolia. So let's get started. For each of the flower, we would wet the paper with clear water and then the first layer very, very light, and then go on adding the second and third or maybe the fourth layers of the paint, making the flower darker. Okay, so let's get started. So now we have painted all of the magnolias in this painting except for the one over here and this magnolia is not you know shaped like this it's kind of blue so um, I'm gonna show you how to paint this one so let's wet the paper first okay let's start with this style wet it with clear water so the magnolia petals you know the outer side of the magnolia petals it's quite dark in color you know deep pink or kind of violet in color like I've shown in these petals but the inner side of the petal it's not very dark, it's quite light, right? So we are gonna make very light petals on the inside. You know, in watercolors, I uh, don't usually paint the adjacent petals one after the other because if I paint them one after the other, the color and you know, paint from one flower, it may bleed into the oh, flower, sorry, the pigment from one petal may bleed into another petal and it may mess up your artwork. So for making these stems, since I know they have those woody kind of stems, I have mixed brown color with cobalt blue to make this brown color. So it's kind of woody brown, so it's gonna look nice. So instead of mixing brown with black, mixing brown with cobalt blue gives a much beautiful shade. Okay. You might see that I am not painting it in a straight line because I don't want to paint, paint it in a monotonous way. So I'm gonna paint it but then smudge it here and there. So now we are going to paint some leaves. So now we have to paint the very last thing in this painting and that is the bird. So we will try and make a very cute bird, a very adorable bird. And this is the first time I'm painting a bird. So. I hope I don't mess it up because I feel like the rest of the painting is already quite nice and um, you never know what's gonna happen with this bird now and I am so very skeptical about picking a bird since it's the first time so okay um, where's my paper towel let me grab it first okay I think I need to change my paper towel too I mean look at it okay ah bismillah How the color is flowing. And finally, it's done. It's complete. Let me know in the comments how you 
liked it and where should I improve especially tell me about the bird since it's the first time I have painted a bird do let me know if I need to improve somewhere your comments would be much appreciated thanks for watching the video bye bye